Richard Moran at that time shifted his focus from public executions to the inhumanity of lethal injection. Because what he was most moved by in his witness is exactly the same experience I had last night when I witnessed Eric Neno's execution, the first execution I've ever watched. And that was how horrific the moment was, how horrible that that 10 minute period is, however long it takes for us to kill him, how horrible it was because it was so antiseptic, because it was so sterile, because it was so quiet, because it was so inhumane. The humanity of life was absent in that execution chamber. It was absent in the witness chamber where that I stood. It was absent from everything I could discern in the witness chamber that was beside me. That was There was silence, virtual silence throughout the whole process. Eric's body responded. Eric didn't utter any final statements, although as we entered the room, Eric acknowledged our presence and mouthed the words, thank you, and we heard him. He didn't even speak them clearly, but he just whispered them. We could hear them through the amplification. He said, thank you, it's going to be all right. And then he lowered his head and closed his eyes. The warden asked Eric, do you have any final statement? Eric said, no, warden. And we had already been advised that if Eric were to say no, warden, or if he were to say nothing, that immediately the warden would give the give the, um, the, the signal to the people in the other room that the procedure could start. So as soon as Eric said, no, warden, the warden looked to a door that opened. We couldn't see anything other than a door open across the room. And the warden said, the procedure can begin or something. I don't literally remember what he said, but he said something like, you can begin. I wanted to be able to feel Eric's body before um, before I went home to give in one sense for me I didn't know it in advance but I needed a sense of humanity to return to that moment because everything from the time that we walked into that building was surreal and inhumane and that's the experience that Richard Moran shared with me 20 years ago, 23 years ago, 24 years ago, when he witnessed his execution. It's the same sterility and the same lack of any sense of humanity, any sense that anything, anything human is associated with the process. It's all sterile and almost like it's a machine.